Sometimes we're so overwhelmed by the beauty of Africa that we forget life is not always perfect. When you're given so much every morning, you tend to forget about the inevitable. Loss is never easy, but saying goodbye is even harder. Morning. Good morning. Your friend has a lack of appreciation for all your hard work. <laughs> Don't I know it. Thanks. Can I help you with anything? Grandfather! It is so good to see you. Uh -huh. Yeah, boy. <laughs> it's good to see you both. It's about time you came to visit. This is a very special visit. I have come to pass down the Do you want to talk? I am just trying to get over the shock. As a professional, Kate, perhaps you could suggest he see a doctor? Marika, I'm not sure that's the right thing. Oh, it is the only thing. Maybe it would be better if you talk to him. I suppose it is my problem. Oh, Chloe. With everything that goes on around here, you're the only one who keeps me sane. Oh, Matumbo. Thanks. I didn't even hear you. I was a very good hunter. Yeah, I bet you were. <laughs> How long has it been since you've seen Rick and Kobe? Oh, months. You know they are so very much like their father. The way Kobe gets that look in his eyes when he wants something. <laughs> or Marika's smile. Ah, that is her father's smile. How's it going? Hey, Bump. You want to give us a hand? Ooh, I'd love to, but... Mildred's about to give birth. Chimpanzee. He wants to capture the magic moment. <laughs> it looks like we have a third hand. Oh, yeah. Spike's a real big help around here. <laughs> Very funny, Mildred. <laughs> Shh. 
Still trying to win that stupid photography contest? Last time I checked, 10,000 Rand wasn't stupid. 10,000 Rand? Just for taking a picture? No. For taking a good picture. And anyone can enter? Anyone with a camera. So what are you doing here, anyway? Shouldn't you be with your grandfather? I have chores to do. <laughs> you have chores to do. Now there's a picture worth a thousand words. Aren't you going to eat with us? I made Mildred promise not to give birth without me. I don't think she can handle the pressure. <laughs> he and Kobe are very much alike. Don't let Kobe hear you say that. Oh, yes, they are both very strong-willed. You get a lot of that around here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have arranged for a doctor to examine you tomorrow. Why? A doctor can help you. <laughs> Marika, we all must go sometime. Oh, I am not joking. There is much new technology in medicine today. Tell him, Kate. Yeah, medical advances have people living longer lives these days. I am not trading in my happiness for a few extra weeks. Marika. You must understand, this is the way it is. I will see you bright and early tomorrow then. It's just a very personal matter to get involved in, Katie. If there's any way I can help Marika deal with this, I'm going to. Bringing in a doctor isn't going to help her deal with it. Neither is making Matumbo do something that he doesn't want to do. He agreed to it. The poor guy is here to get his grandchildren to spend some time with him so he can say goodbye. I mean, doesn't anybody care that he's already come to terms with this? Come on. You have to admit, there comes a point in life when it's time to go. Of course, but why rush it? Okay, I'll give you that. Let's just wait and see what the doctor has to say. In the meantime, I'm going to take a shower. Now, there's an idea. No, you're going to stay right here and make sure Matumbo has everything he needs to be comfortable in Dylan's room. Oh. gathering wood, I would just sit and watch the stars. When I started to carve, I did not know what I was going to say. But then it came to me. <laughs> what do you think? Looks like a now. Yes, it is. Symbol of knowledge. But this hour is the pale fishing hour. 
the rarest breed in all of Masai Mara. I thought, my family is so wise and special too. They are as rare as this bird. It will look better when I color it. Right. Well, I have to get some sleep. Good night, grandson. When were you born? Nobody ever wrote it down. Oh, that's cold. Sorry. It isn't like Chloe to disappear. Well, maybe she's pregnant again. When you brought her the last time, she didn't give birth in the closet. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, so you say she's sneaking off while we're asleep and meeting some stud. Well, I wouldn't put it past her. She's a wild one, our Chloe. Anyway, she's too old for that. <laughs> How is he? He's, uh... He's in very good spirits for man in his condition, Marika. I'm not sure I know what you want me to do. Is he dying? Yes. His kidneys are failing him. What about dialysis or perhaps even a kidney transplant? You do have the resources to keep him alive. In Johannesburg, yes, we can put him on dialysis, prolong his life. Oh, great news, grandfather. The doctor says you're going to be fine. You just have to stay in the hospital for a while. Hospital? I am happy here with you, Marika. Please, grandfather. Please. I'm sorry. Sit with me. I will. Later. Marika means so much to you. And you are a doctor with instincts to make life go on. Any sign of Chloe? Yeah. Well, I have to go and tag an elephant. You want to come along? Actually, I think I'd feel better if I stayed here and looked for Chloe. A wild elephant? Mm -hmm. Well, I cannot remember the last time I saw one. She still fancies herself a wild one. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome to come along. Huh. 
Mildred, please, if you give birth, Mom can do your knee surgery. Well, then you can go back to the wild with all your friends. Still holding out on you, huh? Yeah, but I've got nature on my side. She can't hold out forever. Honey, have you seen Chloe? No. Is she missing? Well, it's no big deal. She probably just got tired of all the traffic in the closet. I'll help you look. No, it's okay. Besides, it would be just like Mildred to give birth the minute you stepped outside. <laughs> yeah, she does seem to have that rebellious side to her. Well, call if you need me. He went with Travis to tag the elephant. He should not be out there. Marika, he's with Travis. He's fine. Travis should know better. So where it go get him? I have to stay here, Kobe. I have responsibilities. You go. He can handle himself. You act like you don't even care. Don't tell me I don't care about my grandfather. You think I don't remember the way he was there for us when father left? He has already accepted his death. But Kobe, he promised he would be there for my marriage. Don't you understand? It is too soon. He will never get to see my husband, never get to meet a great grandchild. He will miss everything in my life. Everything in your life. Help me make him understand. I cannot change his mind. Marika, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what happened? I found her under the veranda. She going to be okay? Well, she's alive. Her heart doesn't seem to want to pump on its own, though. I think I can clear a valve if that doesn't work as a new laser procedure. Hmm. Kate, um... I think I might need some time off. Maybe go stay with my mother a while. What about your grandfather? I can't deal with it, Kate. It hurts too much. 
He's not doing it on purpose. Give it some more thought before you make that decision. I told him no. Or nothing yet. Well, I think it's becoming a test of wills now. You know, if you have any tribal chants, I wouldn't be adverse to using one of them. <laughs> Tell me about this photograph you want. It's for a contest, and the topic is life. I just thought, what's more incredible than a new life coming into the world? Life. <laughs> what? Well, life is all around you. Yeah, but this is the ultimate life. This is but a moment. But life, life is everywhere. Now you want to be my friend. Well, I'm not interested. This better be good. Charge today? As a matter of fact. No, no. They can wait. <sighs> Do you know how much you look like your father? I wouldn't know. Come, help me pick berries. We have plenty of food. The berries are not for food. They are to color my owl on the Giacomo totem. I am almost finished. Why are you in such a hurry to finish it? There is no magic, Kobe. I will still die. But I would like to teach you the art before I do, so I can honor you with the totem. I want nothing to do with that stick. Oh. 
Look, I'm on a timetable here, Mildred, okay? And you're making me look bad. I need to send in a photo by tomorrow or I won't make the contest. Still wasting your time? Still hiding from your grandfather? I am not hiding. Well, you've hardly been around since he got here. Not that I'm complaining. I have a life. I've got things to do. All I know is if it was me and he was the closest thing I had to my father, I'd be spending all my time with him. Well, it is not you. And you did not grow up without a father. So you're not really qualified to give me advice, are you? I need to find something else to take a picture of. Success? No. I'm running out of time. Uh, time forges on stubbornly, even if we don't get what we want. So what is that? This is my family tree. This was carved by my father. This one by my father's father. And it goes on. That's amazing. I was so eager to hand it down to Kobe. I never did stop to think that he might not want it. How could he not want it? Kobe should not have to grow up before his time. Kobe could use a little growing up, if you ask me. No offense. I was very much like Kobe when I was his age. <laughs> so you're saying there's still hope for him? Great hope. Great hope. So, uh, you got your picture. Well, I got something on film. I'll develop the roles tonight, see if there's anything worth sending in. Without Mildred, I think I can forget about first prize. Oh, don't be so sure. <laughs> You're pretty good. If I do win, I'll take everyone out to party. A night on the town on me. <laughs> I'm sorry I won't be there. Um, I apologize. I forget I am the only one that knows that this is the way it is. Excuse me. Embrace her and enjoy her company as you have done in the past. Given your beliefs, I can't expect you to understand, but I want Chloe to be around as long as possible. I have everyone I love right here. Forever. That's not enough for me. Not if there can be more. Thank you. 
This is my hiding spot. You kicking me out? No. Not this time. So why don't you want the totem? I don't believe in the same things that my grandfather does. I come from a different world. It's no reason to turn your back on him. On him? He is the one who thinks that death is a great thing. Your grandfather just wants to live out the rest of his life with you and Marika. I gotta go to town, mail off this photo entry. I'll see ya. I understand that you can't bear to lose her. But I feel that you also know deep down it's time to let go. I know when things can be done to keep an animal from dying, Travis. Of course you do. This isn't just any animal we're talking about here. Chloe's like another child to you. This is living. Chloe is not Mutumbo. She is incapable of making that decision for herself. I think she made that decision when she left the house. <laughs> Someone very dear to me once said, love is itself. I think it's time to take your own advice, Katie. Say goodbye. I can't say it, Marika. I did not seek out you and Kobe to bring you pain. I know. Oh, I know it. It's just that it is so hard to think that one day I will wake up and you will not be here. Uh, I will always be with you. Come sit with me. Come. Yeah. You were never supposed to leave me. I remember the first time Travis saw you in the closet. Practically jumped out of his skin. Did I ever tell you what your father did the day that you were born? A hundred times. Mm. But tell me again. 
Then when little Dylan first caught sight of you, he thought you were an animal made up of spare parts. Of course, you were the most beautiful girl in the whole village. And naturally, he had to show you off. Naturally? I know. You brought him to our lives just to bring us joy. <laughs> I come in a truck, Kobe comes on an elephant, always has to show me up. Well, at least you had the good sense to wait for me. You had the good sense to come. You know I love you, Grandfather. Yes, I know, Kobe. And I am ready to take the Giacomo Tote. <sighs> that makes me very happy. Yes, you hold on to it. Don't you dare cry. This is what he wanted. I know. Want to be alone? Not really. Ten thousand rand. First prize. Why are you giving it to me? It's yours. Your grandfather said life was everywhere, but. I was too busy telling you how to handle yours, I didn't listen. He has a great way of seeing things, don't you think? The best. 